Okay, here you have it. Bamboo vinegar condensation. This is the carbonization stage that is taking place. Volatiles from the bamboo are being emitted and are passing through the tubing to be condensed in this heat exchanger that you can see over here. There is negligible rise in the temperature of the water and uh, the bamboo vinegar is trickling down through this piping as it is condensed into these glasses and you can see the smoke that's coming out of the glasses we had designed this condenser for laminar flow of gas as you can see the flow velocity is actually very very small uh, due to because the process is of one of natural convection till now we have we have collected around 3 liters of bamboo vinegar now you can see how the furnace is actually fired here Bormon is holding up the lid, the door to the furnace and below you can see the flames which are actually causing the carbonization of bamboo. The cycle has been in operation for around 11 hours now. So this is towards the end of the process. We are hardly having any sort of volatile matter coming out at the condenser end. There you can see the gases which are exiting the condenser. It is recommended that uh, this furnace actually be installed outdoors. For experimentation purpose we have installed it indoors. And you can clearly see that the ventilation on the room was not adequate for gasification process to occur. Hence we installed four exhaust fans and four operational ceiling fans had to be installed. There is a small table fan attachment for providing in fresh air into the furnace and ensuring that the gases exit out of the window and the smoke is diverted towards the exit, exit, exhaust fan. That was the bamboo which was cut. The firewood. These are the thermocouples that were inserted at various points into the furnace. And they give us a temperature distribution inside it. It has been observe that the temperature distribution is more or less uniform the usage of a perforated plate and setting up of the entire tar furnace and tar drum vertically instead of horizontally has helped the process of gasification and the conversion process being more uniform hence the yield is automatically higher here you can see around 1 feet of rock insulation around the furnace which is the tar drum and a brick lining for safety to the operator. The outside temperature of the brick lining is at room temperature and rocks have been chosen for insulation as they are good heat storage material. And as I take the temperature readings using the infrared thermometer, the funnel surface temperature is at 159.5 degrees centigrade and the rocks are at around 114.5 degrees centigrade, centigrade at places. Surrounding adjoining areas also have temperatures as low as 40 degrees centigrade.
the point just adjacent to where I'm standing is around at 80 degrees centigrade future prospects of the work that could possibly be conducted with the rock insulation where rocks store the heat the heat stored could be used for drying purposes and various other purposes the furnace has been operation for around 12 hours yesterday firing has been stopped since midnight yesterday and the furnace has been left to cool now we are going to open the furnace to check for the yield of bamboo charcoal we can see warm on pulling out the ash from underneath the furnace we are going to be measuring the weight of the ash that has been produced and then we are going to mass balance from the weight of bamboo charcoal that we have obtained and judge the efficiency of our process the room has been fitted with four exhaust fans this is so because of the large amounts of gaseous emissions which take place during the process of carbonization of bamboo now you can see that the lid to the furnace has been opened and Bormon here is right now cooling the furnace so that we may remove the bamboo charcoal that has been formed inside you may actually see the cooling process in place and you may hear the bamboo curls cracking as the water is poured inside to cool the bamboo.